just give us a clear picture of the situation on the ground right now on the drought situation in the country. Thank you, Zainab. Uh, yes, as uh, uh, the pictures we've seen, uh, for sure we've been experiencing a drought since uh, June last year. And uh, the drought situation has been evolving. And uh, it's not only exclusively in Kenya, but uh, in the Horn of Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, even globally, there are other countries that are experiencing uh, drought. And uh, this is attributed now to issue of uh, climate change. But uh, coming here in our context, uh, the drought situation has been uh, evolving, as I've mentioned. And uh, we've seen that uh, there are counties that uh, have been severely affected. Um, uh, right now, we have uh, 10 counties that are under alarm stage of the drought situation. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another 10 that are under alert. Mm -hmm. And uh, only three out of the uh, 23 Assal counties that are stable mm -hmm. and are uh, in normal stage of the drought situation. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, when you look at the impacts, mm -hmm. the impacts have been uh, sustained. And uh, from uh, last year, August, uh, we had around 2.5 million Kenyans being uh, exposed or at risk. Then uh, December, we had 2.8. Then uh, February, we had 3.1. So the numbers have been increasing? Yes, the numbers have been uh, surging and mm -hmm. uh, this tells you uh, the impact that uh, the drought situation continues to uh, exert on uh, the local uh, livelihoods. Mm -hmm. So at the moment we are projecting that uh, given the outlook for mm -hmm. October, November and December rains, mm -hmm. uh, the Kenya Meteorology uh, has uh, released the outlook and the probability of that uh, being below normal is 65%. Mm -hmm. Uh, and That's the rainfall now? Yes, the rainfall for mm -hmm. the expected rainfall. Right. Uh, so given that situation, the possible scenario is a worst case. And uh, given the pictures that we are seeing, mm -hmm. our situation is not going to stabilize, especially in terms of the food security situation. Mm -hmm. uh, considering our production systems, uh, that we are dependent on livestock production and crop production, which are uh, primarily uh, uh, the rainfall uh, uh, fed. Mm -hmm. Rain, uh, rain dependent. So that uh, actually has minimal impact in terms of uh, livelihood recovery. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing that number going beyond uh, next year, mm -hmm. uh, early January, February. But uh, we'll be doing, uh, we normally do the long rains and short rains assessments to establish the impact of the seasonal performance. Is it correct then to say when we, we talk about 4 million, 4 million Kenyans are food insecure right now in the country? Is that the correct picture? Mm -hmm. It is? Yeah. All right. Uh, Esther, how di dire is the situation? I mean, you interact with uh, the people on the ground, especially in these areas mostly affected. How dire is it? Thank you so much. Let me just pick where the director has left. Mm -hmm. um, just to put things into perspective, um, mm -hmm. the communities have um, All right, uh, I understand that we, we have a bit of an issue with, with your <laughs> microphone, uh, but we will be sorting that out, you know, in a moment as, as we uh, take a look at exactly, uh, you know, uh, from the Red Cross perspective. But allow me to uh, bring in um, Patricia. I mean, Patricia, we, we know climate change has been there. The conversations on climate change has been, you know, a talking point for quite a long time. But really, when we talk about the impact of climate change on the current situation, on the environment right now, what do we mean? Well, um, I would quote the recent IPCC report that just came out mm -hmm. uh, that talks about what we expect as we go into the future with respect to rainfall and uh, the drought situation and extreme events. So it clearly mentioned that the frequency and intensity, particularly of drought, is mm -hmm. expected to continue as we go into the future. And I think we don't even need to talk a lot about that. Uh, like, we don't need a lot of convincing mm -hmm. within the Great Horn of Africa region. Because, uh, like the director had said earlier, we've had uh, a consecutive failed rainfall seasons. Mm -hmm. And this has led to the drought situation that we're seeing. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the most prolonged we've had, particularly in the arid and semi arid regions of the country. Mm -hmm. So, definitely, we are seeing the impacts of climate change as early as now. And projections show it's not going to get better. Mm -hmm. Like we expect more frequent and more intense droughts as we go into the future. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I mean, Director, when we talk about drought classification in phases, you're talking about alarm stage. Mm -hmm. uh, you're talking about, you know, normal stage within a sudden reasonable, uh, uh, you know, 
scale. But just give us a sense of, okay, so when the NDMA classifies a certain area as, you know, severely hit by drought on alarm stage or emergency stage, just give us a breakdown of exactly what that means so that we can understand, all right, so we have 20 counties are in alarm stage. Should we be, you know, like over the moon trying to find out exactly what we need to do? Thank you very much. Uh, uh, okay, uh, the stages and uh, how we uh, in drought risk management, we've been able to develop um, the drought circle management uh, framework. And the framework has, has uh, classified uh, five stages. And those five stages are based on uh, certain parameters. These mm -hmm. parameters, basically, uh, we've been able to classify them into four broad categories. All right. uh, the first part category is uh, the environmental indicators, looking at the environmental indicators. Uh, considering that... Um, Drought is actually more of precipitation. Uh, you lack uh, the precipitation is low, then you face drought. Mm -hmm. It's enhanced, you face floods. Mm -hmm. So, um, and drought is a slow onset hazard. Uh, so we've been able to classify this and having these stages. So uh, biophysical indicators has uh, the issue of uh, the precipitation, mm -hmm. that's the rainfall performance. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the vegetation condition and water situation. Mm -hmm. Those are the environmental indicators that we've been able uh, to monitor. So mm -hmm. that's the cluster of biophysical indicators. Mm -hmm. Then we have production indicators. When the rain sets in, it impacts on the production in mm -hmm. terms of uh, livestock production or crop production. Mm -hmm. uh, in crop production, I think from the presentation you've uh, illustrated, uh, you've seen the, uh, the mama mentioning about milk production. Correct. That's what we monitor in terms of milk production for livestock production. How is the crop performance in terms of uh, crop performance? Uh, how are the yields? That's now under production category. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, the access in uh, uh, category. The access category, we have uh, uh, the market performance. Mm -hmm. You've seen in the presentation as well. Uh, how are the markets uh, functioning mm -hmm. in terms of crop uh, produce? in terms of uh, livestock products, and that determines uh, now the purchasing power of the local uh, households. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the third uh, category we are monitoring. Mm -hmm. The last category is utilization, the quality of food, uh, how uh, are the households, how is the quality of food that they are accessing, mm -hmm. and uh, that is now uh, also the issue, it impacts on the nutrition situation mm -hmm. of the households. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the utilization is the last, uh, or the outcome indicators that we, we monitor. So based on uh, all those uh, categories, then now we've been doing the monitoring on a monthly basis mm -hmm. where for the 23 counties. And uh, we have array, an array of indicators that we are monitoring under each category. Mm -hmm. So uh, looking at that, the analysis now will be able to give us uh, that uh, this county is under this uh, phase. Okay. But then uh, what I also want to put as a disclaimer is that the same county cannot be homogeneous. Mm -hmm. Drought can be localized. Mm -hmm. And then right now, we are even uh, doing the monitoring up to the ward level. So even within the same counties, we are able to pick the wards that are actually uh, hotspots. Mm -hmm. So uh, based on the classification or the categories of indicators that mm -hmm. I've mentioned. 